，如果说我是一个项目方，我现在想要加入药 C D M 来构建项目，可以获得什么样的帮助和支持？就包括技术方面啊，还有嗯资金。或者是资助支持，因为据我所知，已经有不少项目方在蠢蠢欲动了，就很想要加入建设医药 CBM 的生态，所以这个问题应该也是大家非常关心的问题，所以想请两位来解释回答一下。嗯 ，Many project parties are eager to join your EVM's ecosystem. Let's say I am a project party and I want to deploy my project on the your CBM. What help and support can I get, like financially or maybe technically? Sure, that's a really good question.、Uh, we have on our main website、uh, a new page that was just launched、uh, in the last forty-eight hours, whereby projects can get in touch directly by simply filling out, filling out、uh, a web form,、um, and this essentially will provide us with a high-level overview of the projects that are already deployed and/or looking to deploy on the EVM. What we can do with that is then determine what kind of support. Uh, people are looking for, and we can more effectively work with those projects specifically on、um, on that.、Uh, and so, obviously, it can be、uh, you know from the very basic、uh, co-marketing、uh, support uh, amplification of a project being、uh, launching,、uh, all the way to、uh, tremendous financial support, which would come in the form of the E and V. Uh, for example, so incubation, and then everything in between. Essentially,、uh, in terms of technical support, we're already doing so in the, the relevant Telegram channels.、Uh, in terms of open sourcing of the code, that is occurring next week, and so there's going to be、uh, technical support alongside that, of course. In terms of financial support, we've already been incubating and funding projects through、uh, Pomelo over the last couple of of months, as well as then the grant framework. Uh, specifically for EVM projects,、uh, ENV is now、uh, has been reviewing、uh, projects and more to come on that、uh, in terms of investment more on the VC side of things,、uh, larger tickets as well as uh, smaller, uh, more I guess greater quantity of tickets. And so there's a variety of financial and non-financial support、uh, mechanisms that are already in place. I think it's important for people to understand、uh, that. Uh, there's there's only so much you can do before the official launch, and so we've been working with some of the applications that obviously you've seen launch on day one for months in order to get them ready、uh, to deploy deploy at launch. But only once launch was complete could we actually uh, uh, work with some other partners, for example, the exchanges, which we're also working with in the background in order to、um, to open up、uh, basically transfers to them directly. And so it's a combination of doing a pre-planned work, which we've been doing, of course, for months, and then work that can only occur after、uh, it being deployed on mainnet, which, of course, we're ramping up and、uh, we're we're you know, adding resources on that front. OK， 大家应该注意到，在主网发布的，就是我们之前过刚刚过去的四十八小时之内，我们有更新一个新的页面，就是现在项目可以直接通过填写线上的一张表格来和我们直接对接了，也能让我们对于正在已经部署的项目或者将要在 EVM 上面部署的项目有一个总览性的了解，就可以看看是嗯我们哪些项目想寻求支持，或者是想寻求哪一方面的支持，也能让我们更加高效的和项目进行合作对接。我们项目可以拿到的支持，包括最基础的一些市场宣传上面的支持，来放大项目刚刚推出的效应，或者是一些资金上面的支持。我们有，嗯 y o s 网络基金会创投 （ENB）， 然后还有技术上面的一些支持，包括我们一直都在电报群上做的各方面的频道，以及下周将要推出的一些开源代码，这些都是技术上面的支持。那在资金上面呢，我们也一直有 p o m e l o 的资助项目，还一直每一季每一季的不断在。运营还会有，嗯，直接资助框架，做 EOS 网络基金会开发和支持 EOS 生态系统的这些资直接资助框架，包括刚才说到的 EOS 网络基金会创投 ENV， 这些会带来更多风投啊，还有更大笔的一些资金上面的支持。所以可以看到，我们不管是在资金方面还是在非资金方面，都已经有了很多支持的项目。当然，大家也要理解，就是在主网正式发布之前，我们可以做的工作是有限的。所以虽然。我们花了很，我们已经花了。好多月的时间来和不同的项目方、不同的 APP 来，嗯，做好
各项的准备，但是这些这些也都是为了。来实现主网的发布，以及主网发布之前我们可以做的准备。在主网发布完成之后，我们就可以在更多的去，比如说和交易所进行商谈，这些都是我们在背景已经开始正在做的。就可以直接和交易所进行交易啊，还有我们一些其他方面的准备，也就都可以再做起来了。所以在主网发布之前和主网发布之后，都会有一系列的动作不断在完成的。One one of the biggest advantages of the EVM is that it opens doors for EOS that were previously closed. So the majority of the Web three market as it stands today. Is developing in solidity on a variety of EVMs. Previous to the EOS EVM launching, these doors were closed to EOS. I cannot, I, I can't tell you how many times、um, there were potential partnerships that we could have made that were not available to us because we were not EVM compatible.、Um, we're, we're seeing it already. The EVM has been live for only about six or seven, or I guess a week at this point. And we already have over ten applications that have、um, submitted to our ecosystem form that、um, Eve had mentioned, and that's on top of、um, more projects that are still on testnet that we'll be deploying on mainnet. So the fact that so many projects have been able to deploy so quickly and go live on the EVM, we had projects that went live the day of launch because it, a lot of the code was already available.、Um, The other thing is you, you mentioned、um, ecosystem support for developers, so that's another advantage of having the EVM.、Um, the ENF is very much still focused on developing the underlying Antelope stack that powers the EVM,、um, but in the mean and and for that、uh, technology for the native、uh, Antelope, we have to create all of the reference materials, all of the knowledge bases for developers, all of the materials that help them develop on native EOS. But with the EVM, there's a large seven, eight years worth of materials available. So, developer tutorials,、um, open source code, library, SDKs, testing frameworks, all of these tools are already available. So, as far as onboarding new projects and new developers into EOS, with very little additional resources on our side, we're able to tap into that developer base. That's A huge advantage that was not available to EOS, and yes, there are a lot of other EVMs、um, in this space at this point. But we are very confident in the performance of ours, and we're very confident with the underlying base layer of Antelope allowing the EVM to continue to scale. In January, for example, we launched、um, the inter-blockchain communication for the Antelope stack. That's going to allow the EOS mainnet to scale horizontally, limitless. Horizontal scalability. The EOS EVM is going to also benefit from that because as the base layer of EOS scales, the EVM will also scale. And if we want to onboard the next one billion users into Web three, we have to have global scale. We have to have web web scale, and that's what the EOS brings, and that's what the EOS EVM is going to bring or is bringing. Okay. 我们现在有 EVM 的一个重大优势，也就是说，它现在为 EOS 打开了一扇大门。在过去 Web 市场上面，嗯、呃，大部分都是基于 Solidity 开发的。那我已经数不清有多少次，因为 EOS 是 EVM 不兼容 ，Solidity 不兼容的，而拒绝了各个项目方啊，或者是一些伙伴关系没有办法谈成啊，等等。那现就是因为我们之前和 EVM 不兼容，自十四日主网发布以来，现在也刚刚经历了几周的。时间就有数不清的 A P P 已经填写了刚才 Eve 说的那个表格。那我们在测试网上也有很多项目正等着在主网上线，所以这么多项目这么简单的就可以加进我们的生生态里面，可以看出影响力是非常之大了。甚至在发布当天就已经有项目入驻，主要是因为他们的代码都是可以直接拿来用的。所以刚才 Eve 也说了，我们还有一个非常重要的就是对于开发者的支持。这也算是 EVM 的一个重大优势。我们之前是基于安，我们一直是基于 Antelope 作为一个堆栈的
，所以 a n t e l 在 a n t e l o p e 上面，我们需要自己做一些嗯教程啊，或者自己做一些知识库啊，做一些参考材料啊等等给开发者来使用。但是在 EVM 上已经有积累了七到八年的各种材料、教程、开源代码，嗯 SDK 或者是测试框架等等等等，就可以直接拿过来用。这也可以成为带入新人和带入项目的一个重大优势。另外就是在资金方面，我们也对于开发者提供了一个很好呃在所以说在资源方面。对开发者就提供了一个很好的基础，这也可以说是 EVM 种种优势中的一项了。另外，其中一个就是，虽然现在世界上有很多呃有很多的 EVM， 但是我们对于我们这个 EVM 还是非常有自信的，尤其是它的性能表现非常良好，它的 base layer 是基于 Antelope， 所以一直性能都是表现非常好，让我们非常有信心的。嗯，在一月份我们也有新，呃，我去年一月份我们也有新的动作，可以说不管是从纵向还是从横向，都持续在推进 EOS 和 EVM 的发展，也让越来越多的用户可以入驻到 Web3。